Sony has had some problems with its mobile phones over the years. A long partnership with Ericsson ended with Sony having to rediscover its roots. Happily, with the Z series of phones, it has been able to do that and has developed its own distinctive handsets that offer some great features. First off, the Z3 is waterproof. And that's not just for splashes either. This is a phone you can take into the bath with you. Just make sure you close the rubber port seals first. The phone does remind you of this from time to time, and it's really important if you want to keep your new phone alive. One of the best things Sony has done is ensure that the design of this phone is cutting edge, even though it's waterproof. You would usually expect a waterproof phone to be less impressive in its design, but the Z3 really is class leading in terms of its look. Sony has added plastic corners too, which aim to protect the phone if you drop it and stop the metal frame from distorting. Overall though, this phone is light and solid feeling and a real pleasure to use. Sony also offers an impressive 20.3 megapixel camera on the Z3. It's a good camera that can produce some really decent results, especially in good light. But Sony has done some impressive work on improving the quality of shots in very low light too, which has made the Z3 one of the better performers in dim conditions. There's also 4K video recording here too, although Sony admits that this is only suitable for shooting short videos as the phone heats up very quickly when used. One interesting decision that Sony has made is not to chase the highest resolution screen possible. Instead, the Z3 comes with a 1080 by 1920 panel, which is far from the Quad HD displays found on the likes of the Note 4 and LG G3. The good news, however, is that this doesn't matter at all. The image you get on the Z3 is absolutely magnificent. Sony uses some clever processing and a very high quality LCD screen to make up for the lower resolution. But on this device, the quality really is about as good as it gets. Sony claims that you should get two days battery use out of the Z3. This isn't quite right though, and as with anything, your mileage will vary depending on how you use the phone. All mobiles use the most power when they're running the screen, so the more you're looking at the phone, the quicker your battery will die. That said, expect about a day of use on the phone under normal use. The spec is good for this phone too. It's a Snapdragon 801, which isn't as cutting edge as some phones, but it still has plenty of power in the tank for pretty much any games you might want to play. You also get three gig of RAM too, which is good and should keep your apps and phone running at full speed. Storage comes in at either 16 or 32 gigabytes, and you can add as much as 128 gigabytes as micro SD storage. This will give you loads of space to store music, videos, and anything else you might want to carry around with you. If you're looking for a phone that will last, survive any water related incident, and look good doing it, then the Z3 is a great choice. There's loads of power here for gamers, and the PS4 tie-in is nothing short of brilliant for those who own a console too. Overall, Sony is at the top of its game, and the Z3 is a great choice.